Hi, I'm Cora from Boxing Vulcan, FLL Team 16152, and this is our robot, George. Today we will be reading What Lives in a Shell by Kathleen Wiedner Zofeld. Do you know what this is? It is as hard as a stone, but it is not a stone. It is smooth like glass, but it is not glass. It is hollow inside, like a cup, but it is not a cup. It is a shell. An animal made it. The shell was the animal's home. You live in a house or in an apartment building. That is your home. Your home keeps you safe and warm. Lots of animals have homes. Birds build nests. Ants make tunnels underground. A bear likes to live in a cave. Here's the animal that lives in this kind of shell. It is a land snail. A land snail is born with a tiny shell. As long as the snail lives, it keeps on growing. As the snail grows, its shell grows with it. The shell keeps the snail safe. Foot, shell, eyes, head, mouth, and tentacles for smelling and feeling. You can go in and out of your home. You can run to the playground. You can wait outside for the bus. A snail never leaves its home. It takes its home with it wherever it goes. The snail pokes its soft head and its one big foot out of the opening in its shell. It uses its foot to inch along. A snail is slow. Birds like to eat snails. When a bird or other enemy comes around, a snail cannot run away. It pulls its head and foot inside its shell and closes the door. The snail is safe. Other kinds of animals live in shells, too. Shells come in many shapes, colors, and sizes. Turtles live in shells. A turtle's shell can be bumpy or smooth. Most are rounded on top and flat on the belly. Baby turtles have little shells. As the babies grow bigger, their shells also grow bigger. A turtle has four legs. It pokes its legs, head, and tail through the openings in its shell. Even though it has four legs, a turtle is slow. Have you ever had a turtle race? If a frog and a turtle were in a race, who do you think would win? What about a cat and a turtle? If a turtle sees a cat, it may be frightened. It may think the cat wants to eat it. A turtle cannot run as fast as a cat. The turtle pulls its head and legs and tail into its shell. The cat pats the turtle with its paw. The turtle won't come out. It is safe in its shell home. When you go to the seashore, you can find many different kinds of shells. You may see a crab walking on the sand. A crab has 10 legs. On its front legs are two claws. A hard shell covers its claws and the rest of its body. A crab's shell fits it like a suit of armor. The armor helps keep the crab safe from enemies. But just as you outgrow your favorite shirt, a crab outgrows its shell. When it gets too tight, the crab pulls itself out. Underneath is a new shell. You may find snails buried in the sand. Some of them do not look much like the land snails. Whelks and conchs are types of snails that are found only by the sea. Here are some different kinds of sea snail shells. Pacific Coast. Dire whelk. Santa Barbara spindle shell. Western ribbed top shell. And Kellett's whelk. On the Atlantic coast, there are pale northern moon snails, Junoia, Volut, giant Atlantic pyram, and hawkwing conch. Have you ever seen a snail shell walking along on crab legs? A hermit crab has hard claws in front, but the back end of its body has a soft shell. Its shell is too soft to keep it safe from enemies. A hermit crab lives in an empty snail shell. After a while, the hermit crab grows too big for his shell, so he looks for a bigger one. Some are too big, some are too small. Finally, he finds one he likes. He throws away the old shell and crawls into the new one. 
Now the new shell is his home. The snail shell helps keep him safe. You can look for clam and oyster shells at the beach, too. Clams and oysters are animals. They have no legs. They do not have heads or tails. Their bodies are soft, but they are animals. Clam shell outside, clam shell inside, and clam shell hinge. Oyster shell outside, and oyster shell inside. Clams and oysters grow two hard shells. The top shell and bottom shell look almost alike. The two shells are connected by a hinge. Scallops also have two shells. Here are some different kinds of shells. Atlantic deep sea scallop, lion's paw scallop, zigzag scallop, ravenel scallop, giant pacific scallop, and San Diego scallop. Most clams and oysters hardly move at all. They open up their shells to take in food and water. They close their shells tightly when enemies are around. Some scallops can swim. A scallop does not swim like a fish, though. First it opens its two shells, then it snaps them together quickly. This gets the scallop where it wants to go. When you find a shell, carefully look inside. It will probably be empty. If its shell is empty, it may mean that the animal has died, or it has outgrown the shell and left it behind. If the animal is at home, you can watch it for a while. See if you can tell how it eats. How does it move? What does it do when it feels frightened? When you go, leave the animal where you found it. Animals are happiest in their natural surroundings. If a shell is empty, you can take it home with you. If you are looking at shells in a state or national park, however, be sure to ask a ranger or game warden before you take any shells from the park. Try to find as many different kinds of shells as you can. Whether the shells you find are big or small, plain or fancy, remember, a shell is someone's home. FIRST has opportunities for learners of all ages to engage in robotics, from kindergarten through high school. For more information, visit firstinspires.org. Thanks for joining us on Reading with Robots.